Hey guys and welcome to another Terraria video. In this video I'm using T-Shock and I'm going to be using T-Shock to show you how to add and edit regions and protect them from changes. So what I'm going to do is multiplayer join. I'm going to go into my server. Okay, so now I'm on my T-Shock server. You can see that I am just logged in as a regular user, so I want to make sure that I log in to my super admin account. Um, or I can log into any account that has the region edit permission. Okay. So now that I'm authenticated, um, we're going to protect this region right here. This is the spawn house. So um, what you need to do is you need to protect the top um, corner on the left or the right or the bottom left or the bottom right doesn't matter which one you start with as long as the second region block that you hit is the opposite corner I'll show you what I mean so we'll do region set one I'm gonna start with this top corner here I'm gonna do region set two I'm gonna do this bottom corner alright so now think of it as an invisible rectangle whereas this would be the bottom right corner and this would be the top left corner so think of it as clicking and dragging and then dropping if you were on your desktop okay so the imaginary rectangle would look something similar to that so once you have your two region points set up you want to define the region that you just identified so we'll do region define house and now that I've defined it, I can protect it. So we'll do region protect house true. So now this house is protected from changes. So any players that join this server will not be able to edit this house at all. Now, if I'm adding a protection for another player, such as I'm protecting their house from, um, you know, so that it's protected for, from changes, well, then you want to make sure that you add that user to that region okay so that they can make edit edits and changes inside their own house so to do that you just do forward slash region allow and then the player name in my case I'm going to use Joker and then the region so now you've you've added the user Joker or whoever the player name is to the region called house now I just want to clarify if you're adding a name of a player say you're adding region allow and let's say his name is like bluegrass if it's two words like this um, it's case sensitive so if they do have capitals in their name you need to remember the capitals but if there's two words like I have here I just enclose that in quotation marks and then the region would be after that and then you're all set you'd hit enter and of course there's no player named bluegrass so it didn't work but anyway guys now you know how to set regions you know how to define them you know how to protect the region and then you know how to add players and allow them to edit the region if you guys have any questions or concerns or any problems with um, you know adding protection just go ahead and leave a comment below and thanks for watching